the stadium event, The Change, that took place on Friday night during the World Youth Day 2023 in Lisbon, was definitely a highlight for the participants of the ENC Next Gen team. Their outreach had been organized by the Fe y Vida Faith and Life community in Spain. Christians from all traditions had assembled that night on August 4th in Lisbon's largest stadium for a night of worship, prayer, listening to evangelistic messages from Protestant and Catholic speakers and sharing fellowship with more than 40,000 other Christians. Here are some of the impressions by ENC team members of this historic ecumenical event in Lisbon. It was very interesting because when we got there, we realized there were 40,000 people. Half of them were evangelicals, half of them Catholics. And there came a feeling that when I was thinking, okay, this is happening, this is real. The ENC should be in the, the change event. Uh, for us, the Cumulus is a very important, very, very important part of our charisma. And I think that we should be there. And for me personally, uh, it was planned as one of the most important events in the whole with World Youth Day Lisbon 2023. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for all that you have given us today. We thank you for all the beautiful people whom you love that showed up here tonight. We ask you to fill this stadium with your love and your mercy and your compassion. And we ask that you bless your son, our brother, Pope Francis, that you may continue to allow him to bring unity to the faith, to the body of Christ as a whole, and to allow us to realize that we are all connected to you, Lord, through Jesus Christ and the sacrifice he made on the cross. And we ask this all with the blessing of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. I would say that the atmosphere was really great and I loved that all the musicians in the, over the stage were playing all together, Catholics and Evangelics and all together, all the songs, like a same band. I think for me it was a really sign of communion among all different denominations and the atmosphere and the joy of all the people attending was really, really amazing. I would like to say that uh, we need to continue working with the Cumulus. There are many things to do yet to reach our goal of the communion among different denominations. So I would encourage you to continue trying to join all the denominations under the same Jesus. Amen. Because you become aware of how many people there are in the world like you that love to praise Jesus. And because we're part of an ecumenical community, we see how, how many people there are like us. Well, it was awesome. 
there were lots of people there from all over the different denominations, Catholic and Protestant all together, about 40,000 I guess, um, incredible worship. Unfortunately they left the, uh, the, the videos from the Pope and Raniero to the last minute. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. There are brothers and sisters coming from different Christian denominations. This promise of Jesus is yours in a very special way tonight. The risen Lord arrived first this meeting and he was impatient to greet you and to fill you with his joy and the power of his spirit. Ah, oh, wow. Singing um, with, with thousands of other people. When we sang our men, everybody together joined our men. It's a, a language that everybody has in common. So they were singing, our men, our men. 40,000 people with their, their, with their torches out, you know, the, the phone lit up across the stadium. That was awesome. can do with our brothers and sisters from other churches the better and it was the feeling in there was so exciting the spirit was so tangible so uh, uh, you could feel it the excitement of all people being together as one church it's the future of where we're going thank you world youth day thank you the change